Hi guys! So today we're going to be talking about what you need in your face painting kit to get started. So the first thing that you're going to need obviously is face paint. Um, I think starting out with um, a small palette with six colors in it, um, you know, just to get you started is a great way to go. Um, I would go with either Wolf Essentials palette. Um, they have one with six colors and I think they have one with 12 colors. Um, I know that Face Paint Forum Shop right now does carry the six color palette and they also are carrying a six color metallics palette and they run about $20 on average. So um, the first thing we're going to put in your kit is that um, basics palette with six colors in it. Um, and then from there you're wanna, you're going to want to get a really good white and a really good black for line work. So I would go with Wolf White and Global Strong Black. Um, Wolf White is great because um, it's very like thick consistency. You want to spray the cake and then you want to really work the paint until you have something that's very thick and opaque. And that'll give you the white um, line work that you're looking for. So for black, I really like Global Strong Black because it's very pigmented, but it doesn't irritate my skin like some of the other blacks that I've tried. And it really does have that inky consistency that you want with a black paint that you're using for line work. Okay, so now that we have our basic colors and our black and white, um, then we want to venture out into rainbow cakes. Now, a lot of people might argue that you don't need an, a rainbow cake when you're first starting out, but I would beg to differ. I think that a rainbow cake can really um, expand your designs. If, when you're first starting out, um, blending different colors together is, can be very difficult, and using a rainbow cake can really help you do that um, when, when you don't have a lot of skill. You only get one rainbow cake, my pick would be this cake by Kribbelin. It's called Luna. And the reason I would pick this cake above all else is because it's a great unisex cake. This cake can be used for girls and boys. Um, you can come up with so many designs using it. Um, and the colors are so bright and so beautiful that I just, it's one of my favorite cakes. So if I was gonna pick only one, this would be it. If I was going to add another one to that, I would probably use this um, Diamond Effects Happy Birthday. So once we've got the rainbow cakes out of the way, then we're going to go to something called a one stroke. Now one stroke cakes look like this. And for a one stroke cake, we're going to use uh, a one stroke brush that looks like this. This is a three quarter inch angled one stroke brush. So you spritz your cake, you rub the brush back and forth like so, and then when you apply it, all the colors go on at once. Um, if I was to buy one, only one one stroke in my kit, it would probably be this cake by Global, and this is called Leanne's Rainbow in Neon. It's the brightest, most beautiful one stroke that I have in my kit. So you really can't go wrong with buying probably any one stroke from Global. They're amazing. Now let's talk about those brushes that we need for the one stroke cakes. So my recommendation is a three quarter inch angled brush and a half inch angled brush. These are magic wand brushes. So now the next thing we need to talk about is our round brushes. These round brushes are ones that I actually got from a craft store. I think it was, I think it's Michael's that carries these. They're called Artist Loft uh, Vienna. Um, but every time I go in there, they don't have them. <laughs> so um, I love these brushes, but like I said, they're really hard to get sometimes. So my recommendation is to get a round brush in a two, a four, and a six. Um, if you're looking for some great round brushes, um, you can try Low, Low Cornell. The, they're like a yellow color on the handle. Um, I know that you can get the 2, 4, and 6 through Face, face Paint Form Shop. So the last brush that I think is absolutely essential in your kit 
is just a silver brush. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is sponges. Um, this is your basic sponge that you're gonna use for face painting. You wanna have a lot of these um, just because I tend to use one sponge per child. A lot of um, face painters, big names in the industry, they use one sponge per color. Um, and that's a huge debate between face painters about hygiene and how many sponges do we use? Do we clean our, you know, sanitize our brushes in between each kid? This is something that you need to research and decide for yourself because it's, <laughs> it's a hot issue in face painting right now. So anyways, this is the, the main sponge that you're gonna need. Um, these are available through Face Paint Forum Shop. And I, so this is called a petal sponge. And I think these are essential in your face painting kit. Um, I included these in a basic kit because I think they are so helpful in creating designs on small faces. Next thing um, in your kit that you need that might seem obvious is <laughs> a spray bottle. Um, you can get these at the dollar store and you'll use these for spritzing your cakes. Um, the next dollar store item that you'll need is a mirror. Um, you don't want to forget this because the kids obviously want to see what the design looks like that you've created for them. Um, another item that we are going to need is a cup for our water. Okay, and then the next item on our list is going to be um, baby wipes. This is just a reusable baby wipe container that I got from Walmart and I buy them in bulk and then I refill them into this container. Um, another item that I've included in the kit is a brush holder. You don't want to spend a ton of money on buying nice brushes only to have them ruined when you're transporting them. So another thing that you need that's absolutely essential is going to be glitter. Glitter is something that if you're first starting out and your design doesn't come out perfect or it's not as wonderful as you wanted it to be, glitter can be your best friend because you put a little lipstick and some glitter on a little girl and no matter what the design looks like, she's gonna love it. And there's all different ways that you can apply glitter, but when you're first starting out, I would recommend getting a white iridescent glitter in a pooper bottle. I recommend that because iridescent glitter doesn't cover your design, it's not an opaque glitter so it's not going to cover up the work that you did it's just going to add spark you know a pooper bottle it just comes like this and you just you know poof the glitter out onto a wet design so you want to add the glitter while your design is still wet another essential in your kit is going to be antibacterial hand lotion um this is just good to have to keep your hands clean and sanitary in between kids as you just want to have good hygiene practices when you're touching children's faces. So this is another item from the dollar store. If you go someplace where there's um, no access to water, you wanna just bring a jug of water with you. And I um, bring a bucket as well, just in case there's no place where I can dump out my water. It's just, it's just more professional if you can bring your own water and dispose of your own um, dirty water. It's just so much nicer if the people that hire you don't have to worry about these things. It's all taken care of for them. So um, one other thing that I would recommend for your kit as well is something to hold your sponges. And I put mine in a laundry bag. Looks like this. Has the zipper on the top. Um, I sewed a, <laughs> actually sewed a hair tie on mine so that I could hang it on my kit when I'm, you know, carrying everything into an event, I don't have to like physically hold it. I just hook it on the edge of my kit and it just stays like that. And that's the same thing with my wipes thing. I, I just hang it on to my kit. So it's one less thing I have to carry. Um, you can get these at Walmart or the dollar store or whatever. And you can actually also put your dirty sponges in here and just throw them in the washing machine and sanitize them that way. Okay, so that is your complete kit. I hope I'm not forgetting anything essential. <laughs> um, leave me a comment below if you guys have other suggestions or other items you think are absolutely essential in your face painting kit. Um, if I was going to add anything extra, and this is above and beyond what you have in your face painting kit, 
my next item would definitely be stencils. Um, stencils are an awesome way to add texture to your designs or even it's even a great way to fill in your, de your design board with designs that you normally wouldn't be able to do on your own. So another thing you're going to need in your kit is some way to display your designs. So a great way to just when you're starting out is just to have a simple word for it. So the last thing you're going to need in your kit is your kit. You need something to carry around all this stuff in. Um, when you're first starting, that might be something you have just hanging around your house. When I first started out, I used an old train case that belonged to my grandma. After about a year of face painting, I made enough money that I could buy a craft and go. And I love it. Like, I, I'm so happy I purchased it. But I'm also glad that I didn't buy one right off the bat. I'm glad that I just used what I had and was able to figure out if face painting was right for me before I invested so much money. So I would recommend that you use something that you have laying around your house or borrow something from a family member. Just find something that you can put all this stuff in and take from event to event for a while until you decide, yes, I want to be a face painter. This is what I want to do. And you've made enough money to invest in something like a craft and go. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope I didn't ramble too much. <laughs> um, and I hope that uh, I didn't leave anything out. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have any other suggestions, things that you think are absolutely essential for starting out in face painting. I would love to hear other suggestions. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.